Hello dear students, today we are going to learn poem number 37, Bedtime. Now let's start our poem. The evening is coming, the sun sinks to rest. The rooks are all flying straight home to the nest. Count says the rook as he flies overhead. It's time little people were going to bed. In this poem, the poet says that it is evening and the sun is sinking. The rooks, rooks means a kind of bird, are flying to their nest. And it is time for the little people to sleep. Now next stanza, the butterfly's drowsy has folded its wing. The bees are returning, no more the birds sing. Their neighbor is over, their nestling are fed. It's time little people were going to bed. In this stanza, the poet say, The drowsy butterfly has folded its wing. The birds are returning. Drowsy means sleepy. The birds have stopped singing and have finished their day's work of feeding the babies. Labor means hard work. Good night, little people. Good night and good night. Sweet dreams to your eyelids till drowning of light. The evening has come. There is no more to be said. It's time, little people, we are going to bed. In this stanza, the poet wishes good night and wishes sweet dream to the eyelids till dawn. In the evening time and there is nothing more to be said. Now and it's time to go to bed. Meaning from this poem, Rook means a kind of birds. Next, Drowsy means sleepy. Next, Labor means hard work. Then, nestling means young birds which have not yet left their nest. I think all of you understood this poem. Do understand the concept and revise at home. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.